Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. It is bright and early and it looks as if winter has hit outside. It's like crazy wind but this is an exciting one because I'm heading to the Fortnum and Mason Christmas preview which makes me so excited. I know when I went to the Harrods Christmas everyone was like no it's too soon but Apparently Christmas starts in like July, so actually this is pretty late considering advent calendars come out in August. So I guess they want to open up for like tourists and people who might be visiting London, which is really exciting. So I'm heading there bright and early this morning. Hopefully you don't get too drenched because it is really crazy weather outside. But I'm also going with my mum and then we have exciting things for the rest of the day. So let's do this. Just did a quick little earring change. Do we prefer these ones or do we prefer the heart ones? Let me know. And you know when the doorbell goes at the most perfect time and you're like, oh my goodness. Well, the doorbell just went. Da -da, da -da. A really exciting delivery, particularly considering that I am doing a wintry kind of festive seasonal vlog today because I'm so in the mood for all things kind of seasons. I love seasons. And this is the brand new wild deodorant in pumpkin scent. I am so excited about this. If you don't know anything about Wild Deodorant, I have been using them since 2020. And they're a natural deodorant and they come in a reusable case like this one, so beautiful. Like you can see, you can have it inscribed, which is absolutely dreamy, makes such a nice gift. I actually bought my boyfriend's mum one of these as a gift a few years ago for Christmas and she loved it. They come with compostable refills and you can do these in pick a mix. So you can kind of choose a few different ones and mix and match your scents, which I love. I love Wild for many reasons, but I was actually in Singapore this time last year and my time hop just came up and I obviously took my Wild with me and I saw it on my time hop, like my reminder that I was there. This has traveled the world with me. It's been to Barbados with me. It's been in the Disney Magic Kingdom castle with me. And it's been Singapore with me. And now we have the new scent. So the reason I'm really excited is because I just got my hands on the brand new pumpkin spice and vanilla. This is vegan friendly and aluminium free. And oh my goodness, I've seen so many people online say that this is gonna be the most popular scent yet. And I can see why. It's kind of like, imagine if you just made the most amazing banana bread, cinnamon meets nutmeg. It's warm it's cozy it's just amazing and then my favorite core scent i got to refill of this this is a fresh cotton and sea salt it just smells so fresh another thing that i love about wild is that they don't use any harsh chemicals they're obviously very cute and like i say you can engrave them but it's also really convenient it's a flexible subscription which is so great if you're say on holiday or something or going traveling you can pause at any time and also the scent does last all day which is so important because i work out a lot and i sweat a lot as you know i love my david lloyd blake's classes and this has stood the test of a lot of burpees. They have given me a promo code, so before I dash off and talk about more seasonal things, I'm gonna leave the promo code on screen. It gets you 20% off all wild products, which is so exciting. Buy one for yourself, buy one for a friend, refill it, make sure you get the pumpkin scent. The prices are so great. When I first got one of these in 2020, I thought they would be so much more expensive than they are. Honestly, they are amazing. It's gonna change the game for you and I hope you love it as much as I do. Oh, and last thing, because I know people will ask, they ship worldwide. So wherever you are in the world, comment below. Let me know, where are you in the world? Are you in Australia? Are you in Canada? Are you in America? Are you in Europe? I'd love to know where you're from actually, if you could comment that right now. But they do ship everywhere, which is super handy. Okay, I'm gonna go now, because I'm gonna be late. Story of my life. But let me know if you do grab one and I will see you in a very, very, very festive setup. Christmas time, a merry sound and the stars align. Let us all rejoice when it's Christmas time and our hope again made new. In the crowded streets calling Christmas time, the ones we meet where the it was super loud inside, so I made a voiceover of what we saw. So first we started with all the different hampers. This one, the festivity gift box, which is really cute. It's got tea, a little mug, which is so nice. And I just had all of the hampers laid out. Obviously my favorite ones are the wicker ones. This was an alcohol hamper. I didn't realize Fortnum and Mason do so many different 
alcohol things. <laughs> so like vodkas and gin. This one was a favorite one. This one is gorgeous because it has beauty products and it also has champagne and bath bombs. The winter pamper hamper. Some gorgeous bits in there. This one is kind of more of a box and I actually love inside it because look, it's got the gingerbread man. How cute. But I do still much prefer a wicker hamper. But this has got some delicious things in it. Reindeer noses, merry go round with biscuits inside, Christmas coffee. This was a gigantic advent calendar. Then onto the beauty advent calendar. There's loads of reviews of these on my channel. But this is the Fortnum and Mason one. We've got Espar in it, which makes me very happy because I love that brand and Aromatherapy Associates. We've also got some Paula's Choice and some Aqua de Palma. So it's a really good one. Every year I get Mama Fortnum hamper and she's just saying she absolutely loves her mini one of these. You can keep them forever. This is so gorgeous. Yeah, I definitely prefer the wicker ones to the boxes just because you can keep them. I actually put mine under the Christmas tree. I have to say, oh, I love them. I have to say now <gasps> That would be perfect for bed linen. It's almost worth me getting a few of these. See, this doubles up the storage, so whilst it seems like it's super expensive, you are getting the dreamiest basket with it. I would actually love to just buy this and buy like five of them for my wardrobe room. But this one is like, the daddy of them, you know, you've got your baked salt with mixed nuts, you've even got your Christmas crackers, you've got your Christmas black tea, you've got festive selection, biscuits, truffles, what else? Oh my gosh, you do a mince pie and marmalade liqueur. You've got Christmas pudding, so this would be great if you were hosting actually because you could just literally give all of these to your guests if you wanted to share Florentine, biscuits, even a cocktail shaker. This would be the ultimate kind of Christmas day. And of course, champagne. This is kind of like a smaller version. This one is 200 pounds, which isn't as bad. And still you've got loads of good stuff. Christmas pudding. Oh, these biscuits are amazing. And you get the huge hamper as well flavoured, which are the no chocolate ones there, speckled. We have a white coffee and vanilla. Uh, we have the salted caramel cocoa dusted ones. The shimmering dark chocolate ones are blood orange and the matte black ones are a champagne ganache. Oh, I would love salted caramel, please. Salted caramel, certainly. Thank you so much. Yes, certainly. That was my second choice. <laughs> They've been very popular. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Lovely. Oh my goodness, look at the Fortnum's decorations. They have the little baskets for the tree. That's absolutely amazing. And then they have like afternoon tea, baubles. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. And then they have Fortnum hot, hot air balloons. This is so lovely. Oh my god. After some nibbles, we moved into more hampers. This one is a little bit of me because they have mince pies inside. They also have this reindeer melt and they also have some shortbread and some biscuits. Then we found the actual advent calendars as in the chocolate advent calendars. I love Cadbury and Lint ones, but honestly. <laughs> Every year I buy biscuits from Fortnum's, actually usually from St Pancras on my way home and I buy them for Matt's mum, she loves the pistachio ones, but my mum really wants these flapjack ones this year. Christmas flapjack biscuits and then the star shaped shortbread biscuits, they kind of had a lemony zest to them and then more flapjack biscuits. Then they had the Christmas tea, I just think the packaging is really gorgeous. The coal was my favourite, it's actually made from cinder toffee. I wish I got to try some because I'm saying it's my favourite because I just think it's a fun gift. They had plum, apple and cinnamon tea. How festive. Look how pretty they are. 
Oh my gosh, I don't even like marzipan, but how gorgeous it is. Like a work of art. I love the team, aren't I? Look really nice. I'm not into marzipan, but honestly, Fortnum marzipan, I definitely would. This is a whole marzipan table. Cognac butter. How festive. Plum pudding. Fortnum Christmas coffee. Might have to buy Matt some of this. Some Christmas coffee beans. They had some really lovely looking Christmas puddings. Again, it would have been so cool to try those. And then more biscuits. They do so many flavors of biscuits and I love that they're in this kind of forever tin. This was great, you could spin it and it actually kind of spun a little bit. These are crackers, but these are doggy crackers. I mean, I have to get my dog maple one and I love the colors of them. They had an entire dog gift section, including dog baubles, which I absolutely love. I always put a hamper at the bottom of my Christmas tree from Fortnum and Mason, but oh my goodness, they have an actual Christmas tree stand, which is such a hack and such a great way to do it. And then they even had a doggy advent calendar. I know we had one for Mabel last year. I think it was from Scrumbles, so maybe we'll get her a Fortnum one this year. Christmas. Oh, that's oh, so gorgeous. Sorry? Everyone handmade. Wow. wow. Yeah, we've been making them since February. Wow. Oh, <laughs> How special. Oh, thanks. I love that they're gold. I'm a gold yeah, kind of girl. Yeah, and these are freshwater pearls. Oh, wow. So they're quite special because all of every section is handmade, you know, hand cut. So every decoration is sort of completely different. Wow. Oh my goodness, the wrapping paper is absolutely beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen more beautiful wrapping paper. Look how beautiful the wrapping paper is with little foxes on. It's absolutely stunning. I know, you have to keep it. And then even the cards. Look at these cards. Oh my gosh, look at them with the dogs. I never even knew that Fortnum sold cards, to be honest. But we'll definitely be buying my cards from here this year. Gosh, look at them. You'd keep these forever, wouldn't you? They're so special. Wow. These are the most perfect Christmas cards I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. So many beautiful baubles. I love how pink everything is. It's like Barbie Christmas. This is so magical. It's like Barbie Christmas. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Look at the hot chocolate because Fortnum are kind of famous for their little hot chocolate parlor. And then they have their hot chocolate drink. Oh, this is beautiful. It's like a cotton candy Christmas. Wow. Oh, I love these. I feel like this would be the most perfect Christmas cookie jar ever. Nice, these are, and they're all so beautifully themed. I think I'm definitely gonna get my cards from here this year. They're so sweet. How gorgeous. Well, <laughs> because maple always barks. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm probably hand, hand drawn actually. They're so special, aren't they? They really are gorgeous. Oh, look, when you're married, you could get this to my husband. That's so nice. Wow, Merry Christmas, yes. my darling husband, with a play <laughs> Close. You know this 
stars are shining just for you. Let's take a walk, and we can follow the moonlight till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. We then found this treat table, festive tea cakes covered in chocolate, and then I guess their kind of take on biscuitiers, these beautiful Christmassy biscuits, which just look absolutely delicious. I love the cute Santa ones. We did get to taste some of the panettone. I think that's how you say it. I'm just not into lemon desserts too much, so it was nice, but not my favorite. This nutcracker was amazing though. It's giant. I would love someone to get me that. This peppermint bark is cute. And then look at this advent calendar. It's huge they had some really lovely chocolate treats and i love the fruity chocolates too they had some insanely beautiful crackers as well and then even an advent calendar with alcohol inside which is a really fun gift actually for someone who's into their spirits favorite had to be this mince pie and marmalade liqueur though and then mulled wine because i think that's a lovely little gift and some shortbread then we've got some jams. I love buying people like jams and stuff. So you get the bowl with it? It says the eclectic collaboration seats are truly magnificent Christmas pudding housed in a bespoke food ceramic basin. And you get elevated collectible items. Food is a beautiful collectible china. That's so nice. Does it actually come sparkly? Oh, I think it's de decorated that. Good morning. Wow, I am so dishevelled. I was just saying to the team inside Fortnum and Mason, it's that kind of weather that gives you like holiday hair, but we did it, Mum. How amazing was that? Absolutely amazing. Oh my gosh, we, we, we literally had Christmas in September. Usually it's Christmas in July, these press events. You guys think I'm crazy doing Advent stuff in August. But September is late for Christmas. That was so special. So Fortnum and Mason Christmas is open. And what was your favourite thing? I think mine was the sausage roll wreath. That was amazing. All the coal. They had cinder toffee oh, coal. Oh, flapjack biscuits. Oh, flapjack biscuits, yes. And how cool is this? There's um, a crockery brand that my grandma loved. Spode. Spode. And they do a special Christmas pudding <laughs> inside a Spode bowl, which was really, really nice. Also, the cards, the Christmas cards at Fortnum's are amazing it was just magical the only one bit of feedback we haven't had a mince pie yet i usually wait until october to have a mince pie we did have the most insane chocolates though i had salted caramel it was so good so i'll debrief you later on more of that because oh my goodness there's just so much to debrief they even had a beef wellington and they do do a vegan one which sounds amazing with mushrooms and squash i think she said so we have had a magical morning and the weather is holding out for us it's quite muggy and now we are just heading over to Comment Garden because Armani have a little pop-up. I actually missed their event the other night because I was dog sitting, but I'm gonna go and say hello because Mum and I love the sea fragrance. Here it is, the giant bottle of sea. How gorgeous is that? Yeah. Beautiful. And uh, even on a rainy day, London is gorgeous. We still haven't been caught in the rain, but Mum and I are just walking through St. James's Park. And I was just saying, I still feel so pinch me that I get to call this home. I was just saying to my mum, it's crazy that we can just walk through St. James's Park home and we're just about to walk past Buckingham Palace. It's wild really, isn't it? And mum was saying, you know, we spent so many years coming here as a family of my grandparents walking through this very park. And actually, I was watching 101 Dalmatians the other day. Apparently, um, it's meant to calm dogs down, so I wanted my dog to watch it. And I'm pretty certain that the first scene where the lady's running through the park with her dog and then Pongo falls off the bike is in that very park. Correct me if I'm wrong, maybe it was Hyde Park, I'm gonna have to Google that. But we're just heading to Chelsea now, so walking past Buckingham Palace, and we have a very exciting appointment on Side Street. But yeah, even on a kind of wet and windy, not the best weather day, 
parts in London are still gorgeous. Much of the St James Park scene was actually filmed in the easier to manage Battersea No Park, way! South of the river but it just looked across from Chelsea. But it did look like it was St James Park. Yeah, the St James Park scene. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. In 1996, it looks a lot more modern than that. Yeah. Nice choice for your wedding because did you know it's the flower of everlasting love? Oh, oh how nice wow. is that? It's, it's actually so a special. really romantic, nice touch to have. Oh, so fun. I didn't know that. Oh, that's yeah. even more special now. And so this is the Fleur d'Oranger. It's slightly different to the orange blossom you, you already know and love. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it is. It, it is slightly different, but also I can smell the similarities. Yeah. As well. That's beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. It's got a bit more depth, but it's still light and That's refreshing. gorgeous. Yeah. It's um, everything with Dipsy is very French. So obviously yes. we're a Parisian brand. It's our home. Just, All of our houses were French. That's why you love just, it. Just come back from Paris. Happy. <laughs> you oh. couldn't be more perfect. <laughs> I'm in love with Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm pretty certain that the first ever Diptyque store I went to was one um, in New York on Bleecker Street. Oh, okay. I'm sure that there's a, the there most stunning, the that's the first time years ago that I ever found it. I was like, wow, and it was so French that's, and gorgeous. Yeah, this is, um, we are actually, we've only been open nearly a year. We're the flagship for London. Yeah, and I love this store. When yeah. I first came into this one, when it literally just opened after yeah. the launch, I was like, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh. I always take a picture of the little thing at the door because I'm oh. like, it's so pretty. <laughs> Yeah, it is a stunning store. It was all inspired by Parisian apartments and with Edwardian It's like my dream apartment. The wall, I was just saying to Emma, look how the wall is painted. Yeah. It's very Parisian. Yeah, but this is hand painted. Wow. So she's a French artist and she did it all by hand. Wow, that's incredible. Um, um, yeah, back to the center. Yeah. So this would be, in terms of an orange blossom, this would be the closest. Mm, that's um, nice. It does come in a diffuser, which okay. I'm going to bring over. So that was a new addition. We've just bought that mm. out. But this would be nice. This is the room spray that I've sprayed. Mm. So just mm. to kind of have maybe in the bath. Oh wow, the room spray. Yeah, that's, that's great. The interior yeah. scent. And these that's are fantastic. Amazing. They last um, ages. I yeah. find as soon as you spray them, you get maybe an hour, an hour and a half, where they'll just linger in the air. So wow. in terms of just having something to just to top the just scent to top up throughout up, the day yeah. that's in the amazing. room, this is a really nice option. This room spray is absolutely gorgeous. We love this scent. Classic reed diffuser. Okay. Um, they all give a very strong mm. level of scent. Yeah. Oh, good. So I, I can tell actually yeah, by that. Yeah. But, but it's not too strong. It's that's not incredible. It's, it's got it's depth not. without being too overpowering. But I still think you need something that's not. Sometimes floral can be too weak. Yeah. yeah. Whereas yeah, this yeah. actually I feels I strong. I don't like anything that's too overpowering that it gives you a headache. Yes. Yeah. But you need some depth to the scent. That's yeah. that has got it. Yeah. It's stunning. Definitely. I love it. The first one you find. Yeah. You love it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this is the mimosa. Um, we'll maybe look at that later. Okay. The candle we have for Fleur de Orange is called Schwasia. Mm, so cool. this is actually Mexican orange blossom. Mm. Wow. Um, the orange blossom, I think you know, is more. It's soft. It's dewy. This has a slightly more herbal twist to it. Mm, I saw the Mexican orange blossom flower actually online Did today you? when I was looking there. Oh. It's the first one that came up. Ooh. See, you didn't plan to like orange blossom, did you? You liked no, honey, honeysuckle, and yeah. then honeysuckle. And oh wow! Like yeah, that's yeah. so nice. And this is um, it's a hidden one, really. It's not one that people kind of. It's not one of our main ones. No, no, but it's no. beautiful. But I like that. I love yeah. the pronunciation of it as well. Yeah. It sounds gorgeous. They're all written in French. Um, Sweet and yeah, more like peppery. She's found her favourite now, so this one's a bit sweeter. I'm saving the best of <laughs> The lily of the valley, okay. beautiful choice for a wedding, okay. and pairs really nicely against the Shrasia. I just love the packaging.
fillable. Okay. Um, but they take a different inspiration from our classic range in that they're all inspired by different landscapes, different wow. worlds, different places. So this is meant to transport you to an Italian Renaissance oh. palace in the 16th I'm century. I'm obsessed with Italy. And it main, its main character is Orange Blossom. Oh. So it's meant to be like the orange blossom trees, the water fountains, all within a palace. Oh, I do love a jasmine. It's my absolute favourite. I love no, this I, one. I don't like Is it too deep that. for you it's now? It's very heady. I don't like oh, I'm it. sure I'll absolutely love it now then. <laughs> I don't like that. If it's deep. All. It's not delicate. It's no. oh, yes. full on. <laughs> give, give me full on any day. <laughs> I don't like that. But you I used to love, love really deep fragrances. The, the guest pet you have know, still got some on it. I wear it for special occasions. And when I was younger, I wore it every single day. Without it, but now when I was too much, it was too is meant to smell like the original store. Oh wow. So they used a technology, I believe headspace technology, to capture the scent of the walls, the carpet, <gasps> the, the scent of the people in the room. It's in either Italy, Spain, it's amazing. Portugal, France, yeah, it all comes from I there. love the home wow. They make, they work with like family artisans who are like specialists in their craft to produce it. That's why everything's so yeah. beautiful. Like these pieces for example, she's called Osana Visconti. Oh wow. And she actually started as a bronze jewellery maker, but these were imagined exclusively. That's absolutely the incredible, they're so special. They are, they are stunning. Oh, I imagine these would look incredible in the venue. Yeah, they would. <laughs> How yeah. near are these candles? And look, it says ES. You see? These are the hand washers. Um, the surface cleaner one. I mean, have you ever seen a more stunning surface cleaner? anniversary gift set well it's actually a gift set but 60 candles look at this they've brought together all the different scents in a limited edition gift set absolutely beautiful look at that and it comes in like this beautiful case Oh my goodness, it's been such a gorgeous day. We did get stuck in the rain on the walk home though, hence the hair and the face. But I'm just in my car. I don't know why I'm sat in the back. Well, Maple was here and I just have my bag in the back. So I was just grabbing the back. But I have just driven over to Chiswick to see my family and we're actually gonna go for a nice walk and get some dinner. So yeah, I can't wait to show you some of the bits from Fortnum and Mason when I get home. But for now, it's time to go and have some more delicious food. Also, the Armani Sea pop-up was really cute at Covent Garden. It was actually closed, so we didn't go in, but Mum and I love that fragrance. And then speaking of more fragrance, we then walked over to Sloan Street to do our diptyque consultation, which was insane. Mum is getting married. She's recently engaged. So in the last vlog, we went to Joe Malone, and then today we went to diptyque because she's trying to kind of like 
understand scenting of the room and everything and it was so nice to go and like learn more about Diptyque because I love Joe Malone, I've been to a lot of workshops with them and Diptyque I love and I have a lot of it but I didn't really know that much about the story and the scent profiles and that kind of stuff so that was amazing. As I said in my last vlog I just love fragrances, I think they really have like memories and moments so it was a really special moment and everything is so gorgeous. Okay I can see Maple running off so I'm gonna go. Whee! <laughs> Oh my gosh, conga season is here! I know! I nearly tripped over one on the walk into Diptyque and I said, wow, you know that autumn is here. Hello, I am back. We had amazing Mexican last night. It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. Can I just say, oh my goodness, the rain is raining and I may have a leak. I can't quite believe this has happened. Also, did my hair, curled it, went out in the rain. No, it's not a vibe. But I do want to quickly show you these things. My family sadly left this morning. I'm actually livid. So I've spent the whole morning sobbing about that. No, not sobbing, but you know. But I did eat peppermint bark. When I say this peppermint bark is so delicious, I basically removed the top part, which was the, the nice part. And yeah, now we're just left with a little bit of dark chocolate. But the peppermint bark, absolutely amazing. I'm trying to fly straight in and show you some of the stuff I got yesterday because it was such a great day. And then we rushed over to go and see my family, had an amazing dinner, had such a lovely day. But now I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't do an unboxing. We got four of amazing star-shaped Pando shortbread biscuits. Honestly, I need to go back. There's so many things that I want to buy to host Christmas. Christmas blend ground coffee. Matt loves coffee beans, but I think this will be a really nice gift. Or weirdly, when my parents come over, they don't want to use my coffee machine. They only want to use like Nescafe ground coffee. And I'm like, use a coffee machine, but they prefer to use ground coffee. And then, oh my goodness, I feel like this is going to be on everyone's Christmas list. Also, I'm really sorry about the noise. It, it's literally a leak up there. I really don't want to show you because like, it's so bad and I've had to just call my builder and it's all happening. So I'm remaining positive, just eating my peppermint bark. So that's what we got from Fortnum. And then, oh my goodness, look at this. The wrapping is so stunning from Diptyque. Mom basically has a lot to think about when it comes to scenting now and wedding and that kind of stuff. She, oh, she is just so happy and yeah, we just had an amazing time together. My parents actually went to Paris, so I've been with mates for quite some time while they were in Paris living their best lives and obviously on the way back they came and stayed with me. Can I just say, if you haven't smelled this, I think it's the nicest smelling candle. Like, oh my goodness, it smells like kind of oranges, but I also don't like citrusy scents, so don't panic, it's not too citrusy. And you know what's so special about this? This has the date that they got engaged on it. My mum and stepdad got engaged and this is the date. And you know what's really special about Diptyque? So they got engaged in Chelsea and we went to the Sloan Street Chelsea store. And then they also just got back from Paris, they fell in love. Diptyque is a Parisian brand and they also got engaged in Chelsea. So very, very special. Smells amazing. We have lots to think about in terms of like beauty for the wedding and I think she's probably gonna go for the Joe Malone orange blossom scent and then she might have this throughout the venue. Who knows, watch this space, but it smells amazing. So I was like, mom, I need to show the vlog. I need to show the vlog. So now I've shown you that, I had a great Mexican last night. There's so many new clothes that have arrived that I would love to try on, but I need to head over to an event now. Actually, 
speaking of Chelsea, the new store for Space NK is opening in Chelsea. It's kind of like being renovated and it's reopening and I need to get over there, but the weather is so bad and it's gonna be so hard to get an Uber, so I'm just gonna walk over there, get drenched. I think I might just put like a bow in my hair or something. I think that's gonna be the vibe today. So I will see you in about two minutes. We've got the look organized. This is a look. I was saving this for a trip I have coming up, but I just love it so much. So I'm like, I'm gonna put it on now. The hair's gonna get absolutely drenched. So we have a little hair bow in, because then at least I can kind of style it out. I'm going with the trousers that I'm wearing all the time. So I have three events back to back tonight. I have the Space and K opening, and then I have a really exciting Waitrose event. I'm like a Waitrose super fan, so this excites me so much. And then after Waitrose, I'm actually heading for a lovely dinner. So. Let's do this. Although I miss my family, but I'm keeping busy. <laughs> Idea is like you could literally have a sushi night at home. Yeah. This is amazing. Good evening. So I've done two events. First event, Space NK opening, which was absolutely amazing. The Duke of York store is such a dream. It's so big and there's so much space for treatments downstairs. As you can see, I am a drowned rat from walking there. Then I jumped in a cab. I was going to get the tube, but I jumped in a cab because I was like, oh my goodness, it's crazy out there. My neighbor actually called me and she was like, there's a really bad storm. Why are you outside? Which is very cute. Then I headed over to King's Cross to the most amazing Waitrose store I've ever seen. And they are doing a launch for their new menu, which is a Japanese menu, and it's absolutely incredible. I have had a pre-dinner dinner. I have had prawn gyozas. I have had some cauliflower, which was literally divine, edamame, and then, oh my goodness, I had amazing katsu curry, and they were telling me just how much work they put into this katsu curry to mean it's not watery. And the best place for katsu curry is called Fuji Hero in Leeds. And honestly, I have to say it rivaled it. The chicken was like perfectly crispy. The sauce was amazing. The rice was so sticky. So I'm really excited about that because it launches today. Now I'm in another cab heading over to dinner with Matt for London Restaurant Festival. I'm heading to a place called Caraval. So I thought it was gonna look nice for a date night, but I actually just look really wet and my phone's about to die because the phone has got so wet that none of my charging cables are working so I've sent Matt my location and hopefully he's going to be waiting like the night in raining shining armor when I get there. My day is here! We've got Tuscan Red! Don't usually midweek drink but with a menu like this, we are midweek drinking. Yeah. Famous potato rosters of caviar and sour cream. Hello, I've just been doing some filming and I'm just tidying away everything. It's a new day. How cute is this sweater? I got this in like a beigey colour and then this colour. I literally love it. Dinner last night was so good. I don't know why I'm crouched and why this camera is so low. Like it was amazing. One of the best restaurants in London for sure. Such delicious dinner. They had like this potato rosti caviar sour cream thing. It was so good, you have to, have to go there. And it was really nice to have a date night with Matt. We did get 
absolutely caught in the most insane weather. I just think it's been one of those weeks where like, everything, the weather, one minute it's sunny, the next minute it's rainy. I'm actually just heading to get my nails done now. But this has been such a ram packed vlog. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, I would love it if you could comment below. Let me know what you most want to buy. Like, let me know what makes your Christmas day feel Christmassy. Obviously the people, but is it like having the beef wellington? Is it having the turkey? Is it the opening of the present? Because going to the Fortnum's Christmas made me feel really nostalgic. I'm really excited for Christmas. I know it's so soon, but everything kind of happens like July, August, September in the industry, I guess for tourists to go and like enjoy it, or I guess for people to kind of start making plans. But thank you for coming to such a rampant vlog with me. It was so nice to spend time with my mom. I'm so sad she's gone. But I literally am so grateful I had the best time with my mom. Everything mentioned on this vlog will be linked below, including my... I'm actually going on a trip. So I can't wait for you to see that over on my Instagram at mshellx. And I love having you as part of my family on here. So thank you so much. And I will see you next time.